preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and other words in a sentence. Today we are going to learn some more prepositions. The bus stand is opposite our school. So we can see that this word is showing the relation between the school and the bus stand. So therefore, this is the preposition in the sentence, opposite. Now opposite also has a separate meaning. Now let's check that out. Let's look at the picture. This is a school and here is the bus stand. So now when I say the bus stand is opposite our school, so we can see directly that from the school, the bus stand is on the other side. So when we are using such prepositions, which talk about something being on the other side or something which is completely different, then we use the preposition opposite. So the bus stand is opposite our school. Let's take a look at another sentence. A bearded man sat opposite me in the train. So which is the preposition in the sentence? It is opposite. Let's take a look at the picture. Here is the bearded man. So we can see that this bearded man is sitting on the other side of this man. So what preposition are we going to use here? We will use the preposition opposite because we can see that he is sitting on the other side. me is a preposition and this bearded man is sitting opposite me or if I say he's sitting in front of me comes to the same thing. So we can say the same thing in a different way. It would mean the same. So in the same way if we look at the second picture we can see that this bearded man is sitting side by side or he's sitting right beside me. We can say that the bearded man sat next to me in the train and we can also say that a bearded man sat beside me in the train. Both have the same meaning. There is a church next to this house. Now let's check the picture. What are we talking about? A church. Next to this house, this house. So this church is next to this house, which means this church is right beside the house or side by side. So when we talk about something being right beside or side by side, we use the preposition 
next to there is a church next to this house can we say this let's take a look so this is the church and here is the house now do we see that the church is at the side of the house no this is not the correct answer therefore this statement is not right what is at the side of the church so you can see that this letter box is at the side of the church so we can say that there is a letter box next to the church or we can also say that there is a house next to the letter box or we can also say that there is a letter box next to the house we can also say it in another way that the, there is a church next to the letter box but we cannot say that the church is next to the house or the house is next to the church in this scenario now let's see if we can fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions there is a garage dash our house mrs bose lives dash our house the options are next to and opposite so let's take a look at the first example there is a garage dash our house so this is the garage we are talking about and this is my house now when we see these two things what do we notice we find that they are side by side right beside so when we talk about things being side by side or right beside what preposition do we use we use next to there is a garage next to our house mrs bose lives dash our house so this is mrs bose's house and if we are standing this side then we can see that it is not on the same side or it is not right beside so we cannot use next to in this situation we can see that mrs bose's house is on the other side or it is facing this house so we will use the preposition opposite over here so mrs bose lives opposite our house so today we have learned two new prepositions opposite and next to when we use next to we mean something beside us or side by side when we are talking about something being on the other side or facing us in the reverse direction then we talk about the preposition opposite there are more prepositions which we will learn very soon you can use next to and opposite in sentences of your own and see how many of them you can make don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more 
along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.